that could be evidence that there's life right now on Mars. Barisa, a two-year-old starting kindergarten, already claimed to have been a pilot on Mars, shocking everyone. His deep knowledge about Mars, which he wasn't taught at home, astounded his teachers. What could be so earth-shattering hidden inside the Sphinx that Egypt had to seal it off? At two years old, Barissa said he was a pilot on Mars. He amazed his teachers and parents with his detailed knowledge of the planet. He talked about old wars on Mars and a secret device behind the Sphinx's ear that could reveal big secrets about Earth. What if Barissa's stories are more than just a child's imagination? Join us as we delve deeper into what might be hidden behind the Sphinx's mysterious smile. Barisa's startling insights from Mars at age two. When Barisa started kindergarten at age two, he surprised everyone by claiming he used to be a pilot on Mars. His parents were shocked as they had never mentioned Mars to him. Yet Barisa knew a lot about the planet, which puzzled his teachers. Right from the start, it was clear Barisa was not a typical child. His writing, speaking, and memory skills were much better than expected for his age. He often talked about his past life on Mars, describing the planet and its people in detail. His parents confirmed that they had never taught him about space, yet he talked about Martian structures and societies confidently. This sparked his interest in space. Barisa even said he was originally from Mars, which caught the attention of experts studying child prodigies. Barisa also talked about unknown elements on Earth, particularly about a hidden mechanism behind the Sphinx's ear at the Great Pyramid of Giza which he believed could have a significant impact on humanity. He also described a nuclear war on Mars that nearly wiped out its population, saying that a few survivors built shelters and created new weapons. These stories were detailed and complex, making it hard to tell if they were real or just the imagination of a gifted young mind. He believed there were secrets waiting to be discovered on Mars and at ancient sites like the Great Pyramid of Giza. He thought there was a special mechanism hidden behind the Sphinx's ear in Egypt that could change life on Earth if activated. However, many people were skeptical of these claims. Some noted there's an old hole in the Sphinx's head that was sealed long ago, adding to the mystery but proving nothing. The Sphinx, with the body of a lion and the head of a human, has been an important symbol for centuries and is now mostly a tourist attraction in Egypt. In Greek stories, the Sphinx asked riddles with deadly consequences for wrong answers. The Egyptian version, though similar in appearance, was seen more as a gentle guardian than a dangerous figure. Today, the Sphinx is valued more for its historical and artistic significance than as a guardian of hidden powers. The connections between Martian technology and ancient Egyptian landmarks are intriguing, but are more creative stories than proven facts. The Sphinx continues to attract those interested in ancient history, and researchers have spent years trying to learn more about its past, often finding more questions than answers. The first major study of the Sphinx started in 1817, though interest in it dates back even further. Around 1798, French artist Vivant Denon included it in his paintings, sparking debates among critics. In one of Denon's paintings, a man is shown climbing out of a large opening in the Sphinx's head sparking curiosity and disbelief. This unusual element might have been Denon's way of adding wonder to his work, reflecting Western explorers' fascination with Egyptian artifacts. But the Sphinx keeps its true stories hidden. Every new discovery or artistic portrayal seems like a breakthrough, but often just brings us back to where we started. The Sphinx isn't just an ancient wonder. It also shows how our search for answers can lead us in circles. In the 1920s, aerial photos revealed a large hole on top of the Sphinx's head, big enough for a person to fit through. This detail made Denon's painting even more intriguing, leading to questions about whether he actually saw someone climbing out of the Sphinx and who they might have been. This wasn't the only odd thing. Did Denon just guess, or did he influence later studies of the Sphinx? The discovery of a hole in the 1920s made his depiction intriguing. Did Denon know something others didn't, or was he just lucky? It's tempting to think of an artist with prophetic insight, but it's more likely Denon noticed something that others overlooked. This led to a reevaluation of Denon's painting and our understanding of the Sphinx. It made people wonder if historians and archaeologists had missed something important. Now, with modern cameras clearly showing the hole, it has inspired new explorers and scholars to reconsider what the Sphinx might be hiding. What seemed like artistic flair by Denon now suggests a potentially overlooked fact 
challenging established narratives about the Sphinx. But our knowledge of the Sphinx's history is still incomplete. Many observations have been made, but much remains unknown. One intriguing detail is that the Sphinx's head is made of a different material than its body. Unlike the limestone body, the head is made from a man-made material, which is why it's darker and less worn. Moreover, the head's better conditions suggest it might have been modified long before the West discovered it. However, the reasons and methods behind these changes are still a mystery. Historical records indicate various restoration efforts on the Sphinx, influenced by environmental factors like water and pollution. However, these efforts often didn't lead to lasting solutions and were largely forgotten, suggesting a focus on quick fixes rather than thorough lasting work. The difference in condition between the Sphinx's head and body is concerning. It seems the head was preserved or altered with advanced techniques from an earlier era, while the body was left to weather naturally. This raises further questions about the construction methods used and the ongoing preservation efforts. Workers have accessed the Sphinx's head for restoration at different times, but details of their work are often vague. This indicates ongoing challenges in properly maintaining the Sphinx, with significant efforts that are not always well documented or planned. Overall, the efforts to study and preserve the Great Sphinx seem sporadic and inconsistent. While the Sphinx fascinates many, the actual work to understand and care for it doesn't always reflect its significance. This highlights the need for a more focused and comprehensive approach to studying and preserving the Sphinx, addressing deeper conservation challenges rather than just surface-level interest. With Barisa's incredible tales fresh in our minds, we are left pondering what secrets the next chapter might reveal. Unearthing hidden chambers and tunnels. The story of hidden rooms beneath the Sphinx, which emerged in 1935, sounded more like fiction than fact. Despite initial excitement, no well-known Egyptologists or historians confirmed these claims. Over time, the lack of confirmation led to doubts about the truth of these stories, suggesting they might have been exaggerated to attract public attention and funding. However, the story didn't end there. Decades later, a Japanese research team led by Saku Yoshimura used advanced radar technology to explore beneath the Sphinx. They found patterns suggesting possible empty spaces below, but these findings were inconclusive, leading to more questions than answers about what lies beneath. But this wasn't the most challenging part. Understanding what the radar had detected was a slow and careful process. Archaeological discoveries often begin with a lot of excitement, but they need to be examined thoroughly to know what they really mean. The initial findings were unclear, and it required a detailed analysis to understand their true nature. The academic community, interested but cautious, waited for solid evidence before jumping to conclusions. The importance of these investigations went beyond just academic interest. They had the potential to change our understanding of ancient sites and provide new insights into history. But they also sparked debates among experts about how to interpret these findings correctly. As the Waseda team continued their careful work, they brought in experts from different fields like geology and archaeology, to help piece together the puzzle their radar data had presented. Despite having advanced tools, many mysteries about the Sphinx remain, showing just how complex it is to uncover our ancient past. But the challenges didn't stop there. This ongoing exploration highlighted the never-ending quest to understand our history better. The efforts of the Waseda team not only brought new information to light, but also encouraged further study into ancient civilizations and their mysteries. This journey of discovery, full of challenges and fascinating details, continues to add to our knowledge of history and archaeology. Beneath the Sphinx, an intricate underground network was discovered, consisting of tunnels that reached deep below the surface. South of the Sphinx, excavators found a particularly large tunnel that connected two rooms, one small and one much larger. These rooms led to a maze of other passageways, branching off in different directions, suggesting that the layout was carefully planned with specific purposes. Researchers also found separate shafts and hollow spaces within the Sphinx that weren't connected to the main tunnel system. These isolated spaces sparked curiosity about their intended purpose. Were these spaces abandoned projects, or did they have a special role, possibly related to rituals? The complexity of this underground system suggests that the Sphinx might have been more than just a grand monument. 
it could have had important roles in the daily or spiritual lives of its builders. This discovery highlights the impressive engineering skills of the ancient builders and raises questions about their social and religious practices. What were these underground structures for? Who built them and why? These findings challenge our understanding of the civilization that created the Sphinx, suggesting they had advanced engineering knowledge in a well-organized society. But this discovery also complicates our view of the Sphinx and its creators. Instead of answering questions, each new tunnel uncovered seems to add more layers of mystery. It reminds us of how difficult it is to fully understand ancient societies. Even though it's clear there are tunnels and shafts beneath the Sphinx, many experts remain doubtful. This skepticism slows down further exploration, leaving many questions unresolved, like the mysterious hole found in the Sphinx's head. Historical records and images confirm its existence, but its purpose is still unknown. This raises the question, why are so many clues about the Sphinx ignored or left unexplored? From the pyramids to the Sphinx, the ancient Egyptians have left us with incredible achievements. These should not only inspire awe, but also drive us to seek more knowledge. However, it seems that researchers often avoid giving clear answers, preferring theories that don't fully explain what we see. This approach feels like an attempt to avoid the deeper investigation that these discoveries deserve. Why is there so much hesitation in digging deeper to uncover the full story behind these archaeological wonders? This reluctance to fully explore our past leaves those interested in history feeling frustrated and incomplete. But this isn't the only issue. There's also a missed opportunity to connect more deeply with our history. For example, the focus on Nefertiti's beauty often overshadows her intelligence and significant role during a time of great change. It's easier to talk about her beauty than to tackle the challenging questions about her influence. Similarly, the hidden chambers beneath the Sphinx are often mentioned briefly, rather than being the focus of detailed investigation. What could we find if these areas were fully explored without being constrained by established beliefs? The ongoing lack of thorough research suggests a preference for sticking with what we already know, rather than discovering new, potentially unsettling facts. Nefertiti's rise to power coincided with her husband Akhenaten's reign, during which they introduced the worship of Aten, the sun disk. This was a radical shift from the traditional worship of many gods to the worship of one. It not only changed religious practices, but also disrupted the long-standing social and cultural order. Nefertiti wasn't just a bystander. She played a central role in these religious changes. She was depicted almost as prominently as the pharaoh in the temples of Aten, showing her exceptional status. However, these changes led to resistance and unrest among the priests and people who were loyal to the old gods, setting the stage for conflict. Yet as quickly as she rose to prominence, Nefertiti disappeared from historical records, leaving behind very little evidence of what happened to her. This sudden disappearance only deepens the mystery surrounding her life and legacy. Nefertiti's mysterious disappearances often overshadow her real place in Egypt's history. Instead of focusing on her actual significance, discussions sometimes turn into something like a dramatic story in a gossip magazine. This way of looking at her story doesn't just downplay her importance, but also shows a common habit of making history sound more exciting than it is, rather than carefully studying the lives of influential women. Having uncovered secrets beneath the Sphinx, our journey continues as we explore other monumental mysteries of ancient Egypt in the next chapter. An Icon of Power and Religion during ancient Egypt's time, the rise of the sun god Aten as the main deity marked a big change in religious power. This change was led by Akhenaten, who not only made Aten more important than all the other gods, but also established a new capital city, Amarna, dedicated to worshipping Aten. Akhenaten's actions were designed to strengthen his control over both the government and religion. Nefertiti, as Akhenaten's partner and co-ruler, played a crucial role in these religious changes. Her role was not just to support him, but she actively helped spread the new religious practices throughout Egypt. As the queen, Nefertiti held a lot of power and was often shown in art holding symbols of royal authority, something usually reserved for pharaohs. These artistic images portrayed Nefertiti as a strong leader in the religious shift. Building Amarna and pushing Atenism was more than just a religious change. It helped centralize power. By altering the religious landscape, Akhenaten and Nefertiti became key figures in both politics and religion. 
This era is known for its dramatic changes and shows how religion was used to boost political power. This shift disrupted long-standing religious customs. By leading the religious practices, Akhenaten and Nefertiti secured control over an important part of daily life. Their actions demonstrate the close link between religion and politics in ancient Egypt and how rulers could use spiritual beliefs for power. This move was also a clever way to strengthen their rule. The artistic images of Nefertiti, showing her with a long neck and a unique crown, clearly present her as a symbol of beauty and grace, admired by both her contemporaries and later generations. Despite her high status and significant influence, the end of Nefertiti's life is surrounded by various theories and speculations about her death. Even with recent discoveries, the exact location of Nefertiti's tomb is still unknown. The most common theory suggests that Nefertiti died during her husband's reign and was buried in a royal tomb in the Valley of the Kings. But solid proof confirming her burial site is still missing, keeping both archaeologists and historians intrigued by its absence. Another theory suggests that Nefertiti outlived her husband and ruled Egypt as a pharaoh under the name Neferneferuaten. This idea is partly supported by historical records of a female ruler named Neferneferuaten, who came after Akhenaten and continued his religious reforms, though in a less extreme way. But whether this ruler was really Nefertiti or another royal figure remains uncertain and is still a topic of ongoing debate. Recent archaeological digs in Egypt have revealed new clues suggesting that Nefertiti might be buried in a secret chamber, different from typical royal tombs. These discoveries have sparked more interest and debate among experts, leading to further investigations about her final resting place. However, these findings also show the ongoing difficulties and frequent setbacks in historical and archaeological research. What may seem like significant findings often result in more questions demonstrating the challenge of reconstructing history with limited evidence. As researchers keep digging and analyzing, the quest for clear answers about Nefertiti's fate highlights the complexities of understanding history with so few clues. In ancient Egypt, during the chaotic Amarna period, the search for Nefertiti's tomb continues, but she remains a powerful symbol of female strength from the past. Whether seen as a respected queen, a strong leader, or a historical figure lost to time, Nefertiti's influence is undeniable. Her legacy continues to shine as a lasting icon whose impact has stood the test of time. The mystery of her sudden disappearance keeps people intrigued, sparking ongoing debates and exciting theories. From her key role during the Amarna period to the uncertainty surrounding her fate after her husband's death, Nefertiti's story covers a wide range of topics. Her tale emphasizes the deep and lasting influence of ancient cultures, captivating and inspiring people as they explore themes of power, influence, and our never-ending desire to uncover history, even though the solid proof remains hard to find. This story highlights the continuous efforts to reconnect with our past, showing how discoveries from long ago can shed light on the complexities of historical figures and their times. As researchers continue their work, the hope of finding new information keeps historians and archaeologists eager for major discoveries. Each possible find offers a chance to fill in the gaps in our understanding of the past, giving us a clearer picture of how people lived, ruled, and shaped their world. Even though there are challenges and often unsuccessful searches, the pursuit of historical knowledge doesn't fade. It reflects a deep-seated desire to piece together the puzzle of human history. As archaeologists dig through layers of sand, they keep uncovering new clues about Queen Nefertiti's life. Each new discovery hints that we are getting closer to understanding who she was and her role during that time. But this isn't the biggest challenge. Despite these glimpses, the complete picture of her life remains just out of reach. Each new piece of evidence adds to our knowledge, but often raises more questions than answers. The ongoing discoveries about Nefertiti captivate many, sparking discussions and debates. But here's the tricky part. Are we truly getting closer to understanding her life? Or are we just caught up in the thrill of the search? With every discovery, experts and enthusiasts seem to dive deeper into a mix of speculation and educated guesses instead of gaining clear insights. Exploring Nefertiti's life not only sheds light on her story, but also reflects our broader desire to connect with history. Artifacts like pottery, jewelry, and writings give us glimpses of the ancient world, but they also remind us of the complexities of historical truths. Each artifact adds a layer to her story 
but the full narrative of her life remains just out of our grasp. Yet this is not the most perplexing part. What secrets might still be hidden beneath the sands surrounding the Sphinx, waiting to rewrite our understanding of ancient history? Like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below.